What is going on? What is going on, bro? Welcome to the video. And how about that last drone shot? Not trying to brag, but I actually got that on my first try. I don't feel very good. Julie's not feeling good. She woke up with some like stomach bug or something. So I kind of had to get it on my first shot or I might not have had a second chance. Also, a quick tip for my drone pilots out there. I didn't just have the drone out there and fly at full speed towards our balcony because I might have crashed it or I probably would have crashed it into my face or Julia's face and then we wouldn't have a face and we wouldn't be able to film a YouTube video. What I actually did is the drone starts right here and then I fly it backwards out because it's a lot easier that way over the tree line and then I just I put the shot in reverse. This has got to be the most old school sunscreen. It takes me back to my preteen years. You know what, why don't we have a spray bottle? I don't know, but don't make me super white. You are super white, so. You know what, look can't, at it. Can't change that. Look at this, guys, look at this. Can you, can you get that? Look at I gotta say, major, major, major respect to Julia for rallying. I, she, she's really not feeling well and she's coming along. So y'all gotta hit the thumbs up button for Julia. Doing it for Beast Nation. How many, how many thumbs up we need? 15K. 15K, hit that button. So back in Boston, I feel like I'm always talking shit about Boston, like the traffic, the weather, but back in Boston, there used to be some real gnarly potholes because the plows are always plowing the pavement. But I gotta tell you, man, it doesn't compare to anything what they got here. Takes me right back to Boston, man. Right back to Boylston Street. I, I don't know how this is like a legal road, man. This is, this is insane. A little bob and weave. A little bob, a little weave. The only good part about having to deal with this insidious terrain and swerve these potholes is that it's really, it's really made me up my skills as a dirt bike. This ain't a dirt bike. As a moped rider, like I feel like at this point I could take this moped literally anywhere and survive and succeed and win races. So maybe in Vietnam, y'all seen in Vietnam where they're all riding next to each other on the street and if you like, I feel like I'd die if I took it to Vietnam actually. Tell me that this does not look like the movie The Wrong Turn. You like a girl walking in the woods with her boyfriend or fiance and then they just get fucking kidnapped. Like look at this shit. Like we're in the middle of nowhere. They're like, yeah, yeah, down did, this dirt road. Did you see Julie doesn't watch horror movies. Didn't I watch that with Max? No, I've seen I've seen Wrong Turn. She saw like the original version, I think. Shit's still scary. What's that wait, what's that right there? First time we ever been to this spot is called Khan Lagoon, and I guess it's like a lagoon. Never been to a lagoon before. But every time we've been to Tulum before this, we've always gone to one of those cenotes where I go jump in those big wet holes, and Julia doesn't. No, I don't trust freaky water. I don't even trust this. Like when I was filming over there, something bit my toe, and I was like, I'm done. Y'all can see it's like these, it's these real small little fishes. No, no. those are the ones that you when you go to like the massage no, place, they, they eat off it, your feet. It was definitely not that. So David, are you gonna tell them about your outfit? Let's just say that I'm not wearing the edge swim shorts. I'm wearing these cotton non-swim shorts. Forgot the edge ones at home. These aren't as comfortable. They don't look as good. And I have to drive all the way back with a wet ass now. All right, ready? So we're about to get some breakfast slash lunch. Julie has to order this entire thing in Spanish. And you're not, you're not allowed just to like point at the menu and be like, esto y esto. Blowing up my spot. That's what I was gonna do. How to meet? Uh, dos 
uh, pollo el, el limón, a, a limón. tacos o gringa? Sí. Dos. Tacos. 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 El para... Para él. El, 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 yeah, para él. Uh, dos tacos pa, uh, por pastor. Ok. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cuatro para él. And dos. Y dos para ti. Yeah. Not bad. A lot of ums and ahs and oohs in there. It's not my first language. Come on, give me a break. It's time for Julia to up her game and learn some new language skills. And speaking of upgrading your game and learning new skills, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. In case you're not familiar, Skillshare is basically this massive online learning community that makes it easy to learn new skills or deepen existing passions. They have thousands of classes in different areas like video making, cinematography, photography, all the way to online business and marketing. For example, I recently found this class, Instagram Worthy Photography, Shoot, Edit, and Share with Brandon Wolfell. I know a lot of y'all are trying to grow your Instagram. This is gonna show you how to plan, shoot, and edit super dope photos. This is also crucial if you're trying to upgrade your dating profile. Like, this is how you get better photos of yourself. There's no ads, they're always adding new premium courses. It's just a great way to continue developing yourself and growing, and the best part is because they're sponsored today's video, you know that they're hooking it up. The first 1,000 of my subscribers who click that first link in description are gonna get a free one month trial to Skillshare. What are you doing, bro? Go ahead, click that link. And it looks like I got my correct order, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, hit the thumbs up button for Julia. Gains, bruh. Gains, bruh, workout complete. So last video, I told y'all we were staying in a 10 out of 10 Airbnb. I mentioned there was a gym here, but we hadn't worked out here yet. And bro, I gotta say, this is the coolest apartment gym I've seen in my life. Not only do you have the dope windows, you guys know I love windows, but it has literally like all of the equipment that you need. There's nobody else in here or out here. It's a dope ass gym. It even has a whole separate Cardio room, not that we do cardio, but check this out, bro, right here. <laughs> Ready, when I used to train Muay Thai, I used to have this really good, it's called a question mark kick. So you're here, you come in here like you're about to kick him in the stomach, and ready, you go, boom, boom, right in the fucking face, bro! All right, let's see the question mark. <laughs> I know I've been saying it, but when we get back to Austin, seriously, might start training again. All right, so last video I gave you a little sneak peek of version 2.0 of the Beastly app. Uh, again, the developers have just given the entire thing a facelift. They've added some new insane upgrades. And really quick, I want to show you all the new upgraded workout flow because like this thing's getting powerful. So I'm in the intermediate full body program now and today I did full body C. Let's go ahead and click through the dynamic warm up. The first exercise I did was barbell RDLs. And if you're looking at the screen here, you can see the first icon says stats. If you click on that, it's gonna show you your strength progression over time, which is really cool. If you click on modify, it's going to allow you to substitute the exercise for a proper replacement in case you're injured or missing equipment. And that third icon there that says history, that's actually gonna show you the exact number of reps and weight you've done on prior workouts in case you're like, oh, how many reps did I get last week? I'm not gonna show it yet because they're still finishing uh, development on that. Now I'm gonna click start, then I would do my first set and click rest and you're gonna see the new rest timer here. You can add time or subtract time if you need more time. Below that, you're gonna confirm the exact weight and the exact number of reps you did, then click continue. Once you completed all your sets, it's gonna take you to this progress review screen. You can click into any of these boxes in case you entered you know, the weight or the reps wrong in any set. And the amazing thing is, it's gonna use all this information to intelligently calculate how much weight and how many reps you should do next week to make sure you're incorporating progressive overload, forcing yourself to get stronger, because that's gonna give you the most gains possible. Another little sneak peek for you, the update should be dropping July 12th, but like, man, it's gotten to the point that I can't go to the gym without this ever, because I know all I have to do is open this up, follow the workout, and I'm gonna make the best gains possible. So recently I had this revelation about my life and it's been huge for me. So naturally I wanna share it with you guys. 
And let's start just by accepting a fact. Our bodies are constantly evolving and growing and changing, right? Like you started out as a little baby and now you're not a little baby anymore. And I think we all understand that our career and our life path also needs to, to change and grow. But I think another fact we can accept is that when it comes time to make a change, our mind first goes to thinking about the inconveniences. When we got to Houston and I realized, you know what, I kind of want to go back to Austin, the first things I thought were, well, I'm going to have to sell this house. I've never sold a house before. I'm going to have to buy another house. That was a pain in the ass to buy this house. It might be more expensive in Austin. It's going to distract me from everything else I'm doing. Or when I started working my first job as a software engineer and I realized, uh, I'm not sure I want to do this for the rest of my life. My first thought went to, but I put a lot of work into learning these skills and getting this job and I'm on a, a trajectory of what might make six figures within a few years out of college. That's That seems great. If I do something else, like, I don't know, man. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? I have to go through the whole application process again. Now, what I've realized is that life becomes easier and growing and developing and getting stronger becomes easier if you just look at it like, yo, life's going to tell me when it's time to change and then I just need to submit to the change. Like, I don't need to think of the change. I don't need to do all this crazy work. This one, like, it's in my face. It's time to change. I just need to submit. Just accept the change. Like, if, like, if life is this river that's flowing, um, naturally the current might, might change. Like, oh, you know, I, I, I think I should change careers. Or I just have this urge that I want to move. And, and you need to just kind of, like, go with that current wherever it takes you. Because if not, then you're swimming against the current. And that's when you stagnate. That's when you're like, you know, when I was in Boston, I told you before, there was a series of four years where I really wanted to move. And I kept fighting against it because, oh, there's a girl I'm dating. Or, oh, a couple of my friends are here. Or, oh, you know, my family's still here. And... During those four years, I stagnated a lot in my professional life as well. For example, during those same four years, you know, I'd already actually quit the software job and I was doing some personal training. I was experimenting with blogging and podcasting and deep down I knew I wanted to, to dive into YouTube, but I was also fighting against that. It's like the stagnation kind of consumed everything I was doing. I became afraid to take these changes I knew I should make. And I think if there's one, you know, kind of superpower I've been able to develop that's been responsible for a lot of my success, it's that I've developed the ability to feel like, oh, a change needs to be made and stop fighting against it. Like, let's just make the change. For example, once I finally submitted to that urge of doing YouTube and I committed to two videos a week, at first you gotta realize my videos were just standing in front of the camera giving tips. And then I had another urge, like I should make my videos more cinematic and adventurous. And my first thoughts were like, do people even care about my life? Is anyone gonna watch that? How do I even film and edit like that? I don't know how to do that. But that's when I began to develop the habit of like, Fuck it, man. This, this feels like what I need to do. Let's do it. The whole point being here, you want to monitor these subconscious urges you're having. When you feel like, oh, it'd be cool to move to that city or cool to try that different career, don't swipe it to the side. Instead, just submit to the change. Like, I promise you it's the way forward. And sometimes you get caught up in the details of exactly how am I going to do this. It's like, no, just start moving in that direction and you'll figure the details out, bro. I promise you. So I just watched that back and I noticed that when I dive, like my feet aren't in line. It's like my body's almost like an L sit and then my lower body slaps. So we're gonna try that again. That one actually seems significantly better. Like if the first one was a two out of 10, that one was at least a five out of 10. Julia has a skeptical look on her face. You gotta film and judge out of 10 my next dive, all right? All right, now that he's had all this practice. So I'm not quite sure what he's doing with his legs. Like at the end, they like go out like this. So I think it's like a five out of 10. It was not pretty. Yeah, the legs is what I'm struggling with, but five out of 10 is pretty good. Some pork gyoza, some chicken fried rice, some tempura veggies. And we're watching the second season of Who Kills Sarah. It's funny because we actually started watching the show last time we were here. It's really good. But watch it with subtitles, not dubbed. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my night. You go ahead and enjoy the rest of your night or your morning or your afternoon. Or the middle of the night maybe you're watching this. Whenever you're watching it, I appreciate it, bro. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click subscribe and turn notifications on because I drop two new videos every single week. And you don't want to miss them. I will see all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly. Yeah.